Um, thanks everybody and thanks Melanie for, and Mark for, for having me on the call today. And um, it's interesting when I listen to Dan say that you've had quite a few epic speakers because tonight or today, this morning, because it's tonight where I am today, um, I'm not going to be doing epic speaking. I'm going to be actually giving you some insights to something you already have, but you may not know that you've got it, but it's probably the one thing that you're going to need you know, at least once a week or maybe even more in your, in your business. And I'm going to tell you exactly how it came about. The product's called Worldwide Business Intelligence. And I want to go back and just cover a couple of things for you so you know where I'm coming from and who I am. I'm the chairman of a group called the Circle of Excellence Group, which was previously called the Rock Your Life Group until 2017. And that embraces five companies. They're global. We operate in over 50 countries around the world. Um, we have uh, main offices in New Zealand and in Malaysia and in South Africa. That's where our hubs are. And one of those businesses is Worldwide Business Intelligence. And I just want to tell you a little bit about how that came about. It came about because we got sick and tired of sharing stages around the world. And I've been on 2,300 of them with uh, speakers who regurgitate content that they learnt off somebody else's stage. And then they turn those into training courses and put them online without any proof behind them that they actually work. And then we went and talked to a whole lot of universities. We got involved with universities and the academic thing. And we realised that most of the information globally that's available for entrepreneurs has also not been tried and tested because it's come out of the minds of psychologists and uh, management gurus who haven't actually practiced or owned a business for many, many years working in academia. So if you look at your own life and if you look at your own academic qualifications, how much of that are you actually using? And if you look at going to any sort of speaker, and I am a speaker, I've won New Zealand speaker four, four years in a row. So um, I understand the speaking world. And you look at what they're telling you, is there always something more that they don't tell you? So Worldwide Business Intelligence was really designed by Lundy Jack, my partner and myself, to solve a lot of those problems. So here's the background to it. Um, we've based the information in this, which is fully accessible in, to everybody in TNG, from not only the 2,300 events, not only the 50 countries, and not only the 300,000 entrepreneurs we've worked with that Dan mentioned to you, but literally over the last three and a half years, of running close to, I think it hasn't quite hit, 150 masterminds in 20 countries. We've run them in Casablanca in Morocco. We've run them in Cairo. We've run plenty in Auckland, Christchurch, Napier, the Tauranga, the list goes on. We've run them in London. We've run them in Manchester. We've run them in Stockholm. We've run them in Prague. We've run them in Bangladesh. We've run them in India. The list goes on. And what we found by that is that um, the problems that entrepreneurs are facing all around the world are relatively similar. But for the most part, they're overcomplicated in their solutions. I mean, uh, you know, recently we, uh, we took a bank loan for a, for a property that we we're buying and it's a, it's a new office building that we've got for one of our companies and the bank wanted a business plan. What's a business plan? I mean, you know, back when I sort of learned business many, many years ago, a business plan was sort of like you, the conductor of an orchestra, sitting at the front of an orchestra actually conducting. That's not how business works today. And being a conductor and trying to go to pre-written sheet music doesn't work in business. Business is more about jamming today. We're more like jazz musicians sitting in the park these days as entrepreneurs trying to actually sort it out as we go. And I was speaking to one of my South African clients earlier today and he was saying that his business is like a train track and his train's running at full speed, but he can only see about a half a kilometre in front of him at any one point of time. And if he tried to stop the train, he couldn't. And I thought that was a pretty good analogy of where he's at. So what we did after all this research is that we revolutionised and badged it with the octopus, which is where the octopus tribe comes from and our mascot, Oki the octopus behind there. We badged worldwide business intelligence. And I want to share what that is. And you've got full access to this. It's absolutely free with your membership. So this is something you need to be getting on board with. This is not curated content. 
So it's not gleaned from a whole lot of experts. It's not gleaned from universities. It's not gleaned from courses that we've been on or anything like that. It's been gleaned from actually solving issues with people and getting them to shift from their current state to their desired state really fast. And it's been done with hundreds of thousands of people. And from that, what we've worked out is signature core bits of intellectual property. And at the moment within the Octopus program, there are seven trademark technologies, but there's nearly 100 different technologies in the whole ed tech platform that you guys can access to get you to where you wanna go fast. So firstly, it's not curated content. It's actually got from people just like you who have solved the problems in your business really fast. And we've found that and we've brought it together for you. Secondly, it's actually at your fingertips. So basically you have the ability to go into the Octopus platform yeah, you have access to it, uh, details of how you get access. And I heard, I think it was, let's see, Gary, I think you've been a member of TNG for two weeks. Uh, I believe it comes out with your welcome kit or just after that, you get access to that and you can get straight in there. And if you need some tips on marketing, you can go straight to marketing. If you want to know uh, how to run uh, some leadership stuff in, inside your business, you can find that. If you want to know how to build a system in your business, you can do that. If you want to understand how to sell better in one-to-one -one basis, you can do that. If you want to know how to do customer experience and create customer experience, it's all there. You can access it. You can access it within five minutes of this call and it's broken down. I'm going to take you through it, which, um, which Dan, if we can solve the screen share issue. Yes, you've got me as a co-host now. Well done. Then uh, I'll actually take you guys through a little bit of it and actually show it to you as well because it's right there, information when you need it. And you may not need it this week, but in three months time, you may need it. And when you need it, it's gonna be there. Thirdly, it's certified. And I wanna explain the certification on this. Firstly, we went to the number one country in the world and the number one business in that country in the world to have it academically certified. And the number one country in the world is Finland for academics. It used to be Australia, but they're now number six and have been for some years. And strangely enough, Mexico is number five. Um, Finland is the highest rated education standard in the world. And all the major universities are going through Finnish education standards. Education Alliance Finland is um, the biggest up and coming certifier in Finland. We went through that process. This is what the process entails. They had three people full-time inside our EdTech program for two months. And then they gave us five 72-page reports. And we passed initially um, with a 91% rating, and then we got it to 94 after making a couple of changes. To put that in principle for you, the Austrian government put their entrepreneur programs in at the same time. And the Austrians aren't silly people. Every single one of their programs failed. So we flew through, they failed, and then we were able to improve on some areas. And it's not only the quality of the content that they rate you on, it's the usability, the friendliness. They call it pedagogical quality of the content, which I really call the fun of using it. So it's not boring, it's not academic, it's actually practical and it's actually fun, as you know, our octopus friend is fun as well. And then we thought, well, hang that, it's COVID, you know, we've got nothing else, we're sitting at home. So we thought we would go and get another certification accreditation as well. So for any of you there that need to earn CPD points, continuing professional development points for your business or for yourself to stay in business, um, we are accredited to give those points for any industry anywhere in the world. So again, we went through that second accreditation there and that's through London in the UK. So if you're a doctor or if you're an accountant, a financial planner, an engineer, um, architect, for instance, you'll generally need to have continuing professional development points. You can come to one of our webinars and get some points. You can go onto the Octopus program and get some points. So it's pretty simple and probably a lot better than sitting at a boring actuarial seminar as well. Then, as Dan mentioned, we have live webinars. They run every Tuesday at the moment. They're at 7 p.m. New Zealand time on a Tuesday. So you can, uh, you can go into that. 
And uh, for instance, I'll give you an example of the, the last person that we had on the call just this week, because they're every single week. And we record them. So if you can't be on there live, they're there for you to view. Uh, later on, I'll share with you how to get to, to that as well. Um, the person we had on this week is, uh, his name's Dr. Patrick Liu. He's a personal friend of mine, has been for 15 years. Uh, he's from Singapore. Uh, he's a, basically chairman of one and co-founder of another two public companies, one on the Australian Stock Exchange, one on the New York Stock Exchange. The New York Stock Exchange uh, company is called Success Resources. It's the biggest events company in the world. It's Tony Robbins events company, Kiyosaki. It used to promote Donald Trump before he was president, when he was on the speaking circuit, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, regularly they have seminars around the world. I've spoken at a couple of them with eight or 10,000 people in the audience. Patrick also owned HSR, which is the biggest real estate company in Singapore, 6,000 agents, very vibrant market, a little bit more vibrant than Auckland even there, um, and a little bit more expensive. But more importantly than that is that Patrick actually shared his story of um, being $4 million in debt uh, during the dot-com bubble and then how he shifted that to being actually a very incredibly duly successful person. So we have people like him on the call. Occasionally I'm on the call. My partner Landy's on the call as well. Um, we've had uh, some people from New Zealand on the call. We've had people from all over the world on the call. So some of the people that I, I know are coming up um, are experts in resilience, uh, experts in leadership, uh, experts in sales, uh, experts in marketing, uh, experts in strategy, uh, experts in networking. So um, there's lots of different things that you can learn. As I said, you can come on there live, you can interact with the people, you can ask them questions. So you can get straight to the heart of some really good people. And uh, we do mix it up. So, you know, you might find in a year, maybe four New Zealanders on the call, they're from all over the world and uh, there's not a bunch of Americans on there. So you don't have to worry about that as well. Um, and then lastly, I think uh, the last part I wanted to talk to you about is really uh, the fact that uh, not only are things live, but you can access that as well. So through the Facebook, everything is available through our uh, Facebook group. So if you've missed something, you can go there. The links are there. So you can come on the live webinar. You can go and look at previous webinars. And uh, then we have a private YouTube channel, which sits with this as well. The people behind um, the octopus, behind Worldwide Business Intelligence, so I just want to tell you a little bit about those guys. Then I'm going to take you through a little bit of it. And then I'm going to let you ask any questions. And by the way, if you want to ask any questions about business generally, I'm really happy to answer those for you while we've got the time on the call. So um, the lady on the left there that you see, her name's Maya Shahani. Um, she's the uh, chairperson of over 200 schools in India. Her family is one of the most well-known brands in education in India. She's won the Global Peace Award along with myself. She's on the Clinton Global Initiative um, worldwide um, as well. And uh, she is probably one of the most well-known award-winning philanthropists in India. Next to her is Anne Tam from Malaysia. Anne's a client of ours and has been for 14 years. Anne's been named um, one of the top 50 educators in the world by Cambridge University for the last seven years in a row. Next to her is uh, Akhil Shahani, Maya's son, who this year won Educator of the Year in India. It's not a small feat. There's 1.4 billion people there and something like 120,000 schools. So uh, for him to win that is a big thing. Then there's myself and Landy Jack, my partner, you see there. And the last person is Stuart Patton, who is also co-owner of numerous ed tech programs throughout Asia and throughout Scandinavia as well. And he's from England uh, originally. So you have a bunch of very, very high profile award-winning people that have put this together based on gestalt, which means life experience. So with that, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go into a screen share and uh, let's see, we'll do a, a quick screen share here. And I just want to share with you basically the, the platform. So uh, one second, I just skipped onto another page. So we'll just go back and go to the page. There we go, before I screen share. You don't want to see my Zoom holding, holding screen there. Here we go. 
So there's a lot in this. I'm just going to take you briefly through the, the first module, which you can access literally if you've got all the codes and if you're registered straight after this call. Um, apart from the, the statement from us, we have the octopus content map. There are eight tentacles to the octopus. Just going to blow Oki up here for a minute. So you'll see there's business strategy, conscious leadership, how to develop products and services, how to recruit, recruit train and develop people and talent, smart marketing, sales mastery, customer journey and building system. In addition, the way this is built inbound has cultural intelligence. So it's, it's not specific to any one country. It has commercial intelligence from different places around the world as well, from startups, from people with ideas right through to corporate intelligence. It has creation intelligence. And if you like, that's uh, some of the indigenous wisdom around the world, which has been brought into this also. So it has a deep spiritual content to it. And also conscious intelligence, which is everything from law of attraction to the way the world really works in reality. So we're going to have a look briefly at uh, module one over here, which is business strategy. So it's going to be an overview of business strategy, what a strategic plan is, how to resource plan, how to priority execute, and then how to press plug and play on that. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm firstly going to take you through, here's module one here, I'm going to take you through something that we call the playbook. And each module has a playbook. I'm just waiting for it to, to load. And I have two Wi-Fi's here, and I'm actually on my slower Wi-Fi at the moment, uh, just because it's late here. And uh, and the, this room I'm in is uh, the only one that this is the only Wi-Fi that goes to this room. So as this loads up, I'm going to share with you basically through this exactly what's in module one for you. There's five lessons in module one. There's over 70 lessons in the whole program. So you can do a whole lesson, or you can do it in part, and you'll see how that works as we get into it. So firstly, it goes through the five things. I talked about those overview of business strategy, strategic planning, resource planning, et cetera. Then we go to lesson one, which is all about overview of business strategy. You'll see up here, it says three levels of learning outcomes. So whether you're a beginner, whether you're an intermediate in your business or whether you're advanced in your business, there's three different learning levels that you can have here. It tells you the topics covered, some recommended activities that you can do, and evidence of accomplishment. And if you want to get CPD points, you should be focusing on that as well. Then what you'll see is we've made this very, very simple. There's around about 100 infographics um, in the EdTech program, and we add and change these all of the time. It's constantly being updated. So topic one, as soon as you start the, the course, is called the World Map of Sunken Businesses. And this is really the reasons why businesses fail. And then how to avoid failure is topic two there. Then asking quality questions and, you know, your life is defined not by the answers you have, but by the questions that you have. As Barack Obama said when he, uh, before he became president, you know, America has a lot of problems. We've got to solve them. And I'm going to be the person asking the questions. One of the main uh, speeches he gave that said the reason why he was voted in. Lifestyle considerations. I guarantee you I've got people on this call who are trying to fit their life around their business and this weekend we'll be working most of the weekend. We don't work weekends, we don't work Fridays. We put our life first and we fit our business around it. So this comes right up front in terms of this. And then this is something I love to share with people, business strategy questions. You know, if I asked you guys even these 11 questions as a coach, um, and I know we've got a couple of coaches on the call, then if you just answered these, you would probably already have a much better idea of your business. Who's your ideal customer and what problems do they have need that they have solving? In what way can you produce your products and services to make customers money or to save them money? What value do you offer that your customers are currently raving about? And if you can't answer that question, well, then you've already got value out of this. Um, who already has your ideal customer and that you want to can partner with? And uh, who else or what else is your ideal customer spending their money on right now? That's very, very interesting because what we realized is that we weren't in business against other education products, against other coaches, against other speakers, against other consultants. We realized that we we're actually in business with our price points against houses and the travel business. So it's fascinating once you see who, uh, who you break down to. That's lesson 1.1. Here's 1.2. Again, you have the three levels of learning. Then we get into your value system, how to, how to set up measurable goals. 
what a mission and vision really is and how to get to clarity in just three words in your business. And then what a one page business plan actually looks like or should look like. And this is not for a bank, this is for you. And then we move on into lesson three, resource planning. Again, three levels of learning, how to do basic resource planning, how to select a coach or mentor, how to build strategic partners and alliances, how to work online versus offline. Because of course, you know, whilst the world's gone more digital, um, Newton's law says that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. So the more people that are going online, the more people are coming offline as well. Lesson four, priority execution here. This is one of our trademark bits of uh, formula here. It's called the 4G system. And I don't have time to get into it today. We don't believe in to-do lists. Um, we think to-do lists set people up to fail um, because very rarely do you tick off everything on your to-do list. So pretty much every day you're saying I failed. So this priority system changes everything in your business and uh, it enables us, even in our business, because we use this all the time, to basically outsource everything that doesn't make us money or build relationships and then focus on our off days on really the big ticket items, which is the big ideas. Whereas I guarantee most of you, uh, I know because I work with entrepreneurs all around the world, will spend most of your day doing so Facebook posts, blogging, doing administration, um, doing follow-ups with suppliers and all sort of stuff that really doesn't matter. Um, and yet what does matter is seeing people, building new people and building relationships. 4Gs will get you focused on that. So it takes you through the 4Gs there and then we move into lesson five, which really puts all of this into practice here. So I'll show you a bit about that. Um, then I'm just going to show you that each of these also come for the more academically inclined with you. And I have to say that uh, we have corporates using the octopus. We have business brokers. I know I've got Greg on the call there. We have business brokers um, who are using the octopus um, as a value add to every new business that they sell. And we have now, we just got the go ahead this week um, that in India now, five MBA schools are gonna be using the octopus in year two of uh, their MBA degrees and Harvard Business School in Asia is looking at white labeling this as their entrepreneur program. So this is fairly academic when it comes to lesson plans. So everything has a learning outcomes in it, what's covered in the lesson, additional resources you can get, all that sort of stuff and how to prove um, that you've accomplished something from that lesson. But that's not what I wanna focus on. I'm gonna take you through um, actually some of the topics here. And because I do this quite often when I'm sharing this with people, I just had to reverse it to number one. So what you're seeing here are slides. All of these slides have voiceovers to them. So here back on this slide, we're explaining the process. We're telling you what's in lesson one. We're telling you to download this. Then there's a two minute video explaining that. Then we move to the next bit of content, download it. Then there's another two minute video explaining that. Then there's the next bit of content. This one's a little longer, three minute video. Then there's lifestyle considerations, content, more video, et cetera. And so what you've just seen there, and I'll just push pause or else you'll hear the audio coming through on this one. What you've just seen is, there we go, is you've just seen essentially what's in the workbook that I showed you before in video form. So you can literally go in here, if you say, gee, I need some thoughts on business strategy, or I wanna look at this differently. You can literally come into lesson 1.1, pick out the two or three things on this video just by skipping around, boom. And you might say, well, you know, I really wanna pre prevent uh, my business sinking. So I'm gonna watch this, there's two minutes. I'm gonna watch that, there's two minutes. And you're gonna have some deep learnings just from doing that as well. So. It's gonna be very simple for you. Then as we move on, you can also download any of the, um, the forms there or any of the additional resources that come. You can put them on your phone. This works on phone, it works on laptops, it works on everything, whether you're on Android or, or Apple, it doesn't matter, it works on everything equally as well. And then lastly, for those of you that want to actually um, get more academic on that, then basically you can uh, then go in and actually load up your load up your assignments and things like that, and that's the way in which you can qualify for your CPD points if you if those are what you need. So essentially, once you do that, you've just seen lesson 1.1. So I've briefly, in two minutes, taken you through 
um, something which is one of 72 things that you can do in the EdTech platform. Plus, there's one final thing that I just want to share with you guys um, before we get into any questions or anything like that as well. So, and that one final thing is that you're all stuck in New Zealand. And, you know, the way things are going, New Zealand's not going to be opening up anytime soon to the rest of the world. It was lucky enough to open up to Australia. And that means that there's new things happening all the time and you may not see them. And the octopus is actually your way and it's absolutely free for you because it's part of your TNG membership. It's your way to access the world. Because when you come on one of those webinars, on my last webinar, I know because I hosted it, we had people from Dubai, we had people from France, we had people from Ireland on there, we had people from Sweden on there, we had South Africa on there, we had Singapore on there, we had Malaysia on there, we had New Zealand on there, we had Australia on there, the ones that, that I can remember. So, uh, and I know Gar's been on several of the, the webinars over the last uh, couple of months as well. And it was great to, great, been great to see you there, Gar. So this is your way to tap in and connect. So this is a way to then, through the Octopus Tribe Facebook group, look at some of the people that you may have met on the webinar, go and find them on the Octopus Tribe, connect with them and start networking. We've already seen, because we run global businesses, we've already seen business partners create cross country businesses. In fact, um, we've done it ourselves with many different people over the years. We've seen business people invest in other businesses that they like through this. We've even had two of our clients meet and get married through this. Um, one who lives in Singapore, one lives in Malaysia. So I guess it doesn't get any more um, rounded than that. So happy to answer any questions on the octopus. As I said, it's there for you to use. It's a phenomenal resource and don't make the mistake of undervaluing it because Mark and Melanie and the team are giving you this absolutely free with your membership because um, we've taught this content for years and charged tens of thousands of dollars for the same thing, doing it one-on-one -on -one with people. So um, you being able to utilize this in an online basis through your TNG ecosystem, I think, you know, Round of applause for, for Mark and Melanie for, for seeing the advantage here, because it's something no other networking group in the world has, and certainly BNI doesn't have the access to this, and all they've got is curated content, and uh, that's not really going to serve you. It's a bit like um, not having the right coffee beans in your coffee pot and just uh, scrounging off what's left over on the ground that everybody else didn't use. You don't want to make that mistake. So happy to answer any questions, Dan. And also, if anybody wants to ask any questions about anything generally, like if they've stuck with a problem in business or something like that, I'm really, really happy to answer those questions um, as well. And you'll find that uh, because we work with so many people, I can give you a, pr a pretty quick answer that may steer you in the right direction. Back to you, Dan. Thank you so much, uh, Mike. That was a that was um, an awesome uh, session for us. Uh, de definitely uh, get we'll get that uh, that link out for um, joining up, signing up, so uh, everyone in the group can uh, utilize those resources. Does anyone have a question for Mike? And you can just pop uh, unmute yourself and ask a question. Mike, I've got a question. Yes, this is, um, this is educational after all. You said a word, Peter Globliel or something like that, and it Peter was Goggle. fun. Say it again. Peter Goggical. Okay. P-A-E-D-A-G-O-G-I-C-A-L, -G -G something like that. You'll find it. Thank you. But it's, it's, you know, I actually hadn't heard the word before we went through certification, but it's, um, but it's a word that all educationalists are raving about and most universities are failing on. And that's actually the usability, the friendliness and the fun in something. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things we did um, that really triggered this is we looked at and said, okay, if we want to make things simple for people, actually, I'm going to illustrate it for you. So if we want to make things simple for people, what's the best way to do that? Do we create a podcast? 
Do we create um, video content? What do we create? Of course, we created all of those things for you. But in fact, our research came out um, uh, with something entirely different, which is the, the, the absolute simplest way to do this. So I'm going to share uh, which one could be an interesting one to share with you. Well, this one's staring me in the face. So I'll share this one with you. So I'll just go back to just go back to my screen share for a second. And that is that we what we did is that we actually went and built a whole series of infographics, things that people can have on their phone and can look at very, very quickly. So I'm going to show you one. So this is our premium positioning formula. Now, I didn't want to share with you our survey stuff because I'm not set trying to sell you anything tonight. You've already got it. But 86% of people that use this came back to us and said it significantly improved their position in their marketplace. So, and here's what it is. I'm, I will read it a little bit to you because I'm assuming some of you are on small screens. Actually, I'll blow it up for you. So firstly, if you want to position yourself better, you need more authority. So here's four ways of become, getting more authority. Become a best-selling author. That might take you a year. Get some industry awards. By the way, we have an authorship program um, that we use. And in the last year, every person that's gone through, it's been an Amazon number one, um, including myself and Landy, my partner as well, twice. Um, industry awards. Go for industry awards. I mean, it, it raises your authority. Speaking is one. I'm in the speaking industry. Last year, we won the number one award in the world for speaking. So now that we've got that one and it's recent, um, I mean, every speaker around the world, I've, I'm getting calls and emails from speakers wanting help almost every single day. Your professional titles and qualifications is authority. And what most of you probably forget because you think it's not relevant maybe for what you're selling, but is incredibly relevant, is any sort of scientific research results or that that can back up what you're telling people. So... You know, I could back up today by um, actually going and showing you one of the reports produced by Education Alliance Finland and show you how they do it. And that would be backing up. That would be giving me more authority and positioning me better. Here's the second part, substance. You know, Dan said earlier, and he's right, you know, more people are going online. And I said, the more people go online, the more they want offline. Um, one of the things uh, we get our clients to do to create substance is number two here. We get them to build a hardcover coffee table book of their work. And, you know, I saw um, there's a couple of people here. I think it's Gary again, who's in sort of the digital marketing space. You know, if you walk into a client and you've got case studies and, and blueprints and things like that, and it's a book and it makes noise and you slap it down, it's going to significantly improve your sale. And if, uh, if you're walking in to pitch your coaching or consultancy with a PowerPoint presentation, and I walk in with banners, I'll outsell you every time. Substance creates more the position. Corporate gloss folders. You know, those insurance guys from the 80s and 90s, they understood how positioning worked. They had their leather bound folder and it was heavy and thick. And then banners and stands. Let's move on to number three, credibility. Most people that I look at online don't come across as credible. Here's the simple thing. Go and look at your LinkedIn photo. If you're not looking directly at the camera, you're breaking trust. It's a psychological thing. If you're a speaker and you're on there and you've got a picture of you on stage, nobody wants to see it because you're too far away. Having a perfect headshot and where you're looking into the camera creates trust. And then what have you got written about yourself? I guarantee you, for many of you, your website says something different than your LinkedIn profile does. So you're going to lose clarity. It's going to break trust. If they say the same thing, it's going to build position. Visibility. You know, when I Google you, where do you sit? Um, how many articles have you written? Are there videos about you? Is some, did somebody interview you for a podcast? What's your digital footprint? Um, and, you know, we actually have part of the Octopus, a digital footprint checker that you can run and see what your digital footprint is. And then consistency. You know, I was looking at somebody today who was recommended to me. Now I went to the LinkedIn post, uh, LinkedIn, and their last post on LinkedIn was in February 2017. I instantly dismissed them as having any credibility. Instantly. So I never gave them a chance. I went on to the next one. Social proof. 
So are you reaching globally or are you just Birkenhead based? Business travel, in other words, are you traveling? Are you on the go? Are you here? Are you there? Some of the people that are best in social proof are like, oh, I'm at my customer here doing this today. Oh, now I'm in Fongaray doing this. Oh, now I'm in Wellington. And luckily now I'm in Melbourne because you can fly again. Public events, having people actually turning up to see you or are you just lonely sitting at home looking at a white wall and any media coverage that you've got. And then lastly, the, one of the biggest ones in positioning is transference. And this transference is the art of transferring somebody else's authority to you. Um, I use it as a speaker. I never let an MC introduce me. They don't have authority. So I always ask the CEO or the most important person in the room or another, if they've got a celebrity speaker there, say it's, I don't know, um, you know, Dan Carter or, or somebody like that. If I can get Dan Carter to introduce me rather than the MC, I instantly go up in people's eyes because Dan Carter's energy transfers to me. So um, that's the concept of transference, but it can also come from who you're associated with. It come, can come from any corporate CEOs that have written you testimonials, for instance, that you're using. Premium clubs, become a member of the Northern Club. I'm not a member of the Northern Club. I'm not in New Zealand enough. Um, so I'm a member of another club which has reciprocal rights with the Northern Club so I can use it when I'm in New Zealand. Influencer uh, endorsements. So anybody who's an influencer, if you can do this, this is one infographic, the premium positioning formula. You've got over 100 of these within the Octopus program. So that's what makes it sort of fun, Mel, easy to use and, and things like that. And that's what gave us the pedagogical um, rating. Any other questions I can help you guys with? Mike, Greg Longstaff. Hey, Greg. How you doing, brother? Yeah, good. How are you? Good to see good. you again. Kay? Uh, she's sitting here listening in. Uh, she's uh, not doing too bad these days. Yeah, well, I see your, I see your posts all the time. So... Please wish her well from Lundy and I. I will. I will. And for yourself uh, as well. Thank you. Yeah. I'm actually a full-time care of it now. I know. Uh, that's another story. But um, I was just going to say with uh, the Octopus program, outside of TNG and, of course, Circle of Excellence, uh, is it possible to offer this to people? Um, Absolutely. Do they yeah, you can, join Circle um, of Excellence or TNG or...? No, you can't do it within TNG and offer it to other people. You can use it for yourself within TNG. But if you wanted to offer it, for instance, to your clients, uh, you can buy a license for it and you can just uh, come and talk to us directly and, and use it that way. And, and we can work out what's right for you. Okay. There's different ways you can plug and play with it. All right. I'll talk to you about that sometime soon. Cool. Great to see you. you too. Any other questions? I've just got one, if I may. That um, would you be able to clarify for uh, the people that are listening the the benefit or the role or the function of the Facebook page versus the website? Because obviously, I understand. I know that the um, the Facebook page is hugely beneficial for finding your way around the content. Um, and I know I go into media albums and that. So, so perhaps you could just clarify. The, the function of both? Yeah, sure. So um, let me do, I haven't got the Facebook page up. So let me just bring it up for you very quickly while we're talking. And I'll just, I'll show you how it works because then you'll see the, the difference. And that's a great question, Melanie, as well. Thanks for that. Whilst we're doing that, um, there is a website for worldwide business intelligence. That's a generic website because as I said, Along with, uh, along with TNG, you know, we have corporates use this. Um, we have individuals, we have business coaches, we have consultants use it, we have speakers use it. We even have an MLM that, that uh, purchased the octopus. We have insurance brokers that use it. So, so different people use it for different reasons. Um, there it is. So the website per se that you would be utilizing would be the EdTech website, which is the one that I showed you before, where all the videos are hosted, et cetera, et cetera, and where the manual's in and that type of thing. But I'll just quickly show you um, the Octopus Tribe Facebook group here. So um, 
as you can see here, we've, we post every day on here. So there's always an article. And then we've got the replay up here of uh, Dr. Patrick's talk the other day that I mentioned before on the 4th of May, it's there as well. But then if you, I'll just have to minimize all of your friendly faces there. And then if we go into photos, which is recent media, where's our photos? I never use this, so let's just see if it is here. Otherwise, albums, there we go, okay. So if you come into the albums thing, and for instance, you uh, wanna see what's in module one, you can open module one, and there are all of your lesson plans once they come up. It'll tell you what's in every single module there. Um, so you can find that for every single module. So you can get straight to it off the Facebook group. If you also want to see um, how to earn CPD points off it, you just click there. It will tell you how to do it. If you want to see how we got certified there, just click there. There's also a frequently asked question. There's also some different infographics in that as well. Um, let me come back to the about now on the Octopus Tribe. What you'll see here is you'll see up the, the top here, it says, here's a link to your webinar playlist. If you click on that, it takes you to a private YouTube channel where all of the recent um, webinars are up there. So you can go through. And so if you miss something, you can see all of that as well. So it's really good to interact and make sure that you're on the Facebook. So that way you'll get the notifications each week. And, and if you're, you know, if you're sitting in a cafe or something like that and you want to you know, waiting for an appointment and you're looking for something to do, you can grab your phone, go to Octopus Tribe and actually watch something or learn something from there and do it that way. It's actually a really good way to use it. Uh, so, uh, Melanie, and this is probably a joint question. So uh, for existing TNG members, how can they then uh, sign into the website and access the Thinkific side? Okay, so I email all new members with um, a link to the Facebook group. And then, and, and in fact, I did it for Gary at the beginning of this call. And he's requested to join the group and I've just approved him. So it, it is simple. I can approve all of our members onto the Facebook group. And then I contact uh, Worldwide Business Intelligence and they send the link to the website. So you get your own login and it follows your process. All right, that's easy. Something, I'm glad you didn't ask me, Dan, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it does also go out in our um, welcome pack as well. Um, that's what it, I thought, yeah. Yeah, it does. It, it's a, there's a, um, a one page all about it in the welcome pack. So um, anyone that doesn't have access, please just contact me, it's the easiest way. Mm -hmm. I see Malcolm's got his hand up. Yeah, sorry, yeah, Melanie, I was just going to ask the same, uh, or ask, ask um, you to do what you did for Gary, but I, I can email you after this call if you like. Yeah, yeah, sorry, you're muted, Melanie. I'll do that right now, Malcolm, no problem at all. Thank you. Uh, yes, yeah, so, so obviously um, anyone else, if you, if you want to get access, uh, uh, don't barrage uh, Melanie with emails, but do, do send her uh, an email. And then do obviously share this with your TNG group as well, um, whichever uh, groups uh, you're in. There's, there's all this resource out there. Um, it's just waiting for you to discover and uh, take action on. So um, re really want to want to thank Mike for, uh, for what they've done, for t taking the time to, uh, to join us here today. Um, are you, where are you currently, Mark? Are you in South Africa? I'm in Cape Town at the moment. Yeah, so it's uh, it's late. It is late. <laughs> You're working on Friday. I'm technically, I'm actually, Greg's right. I'm technically working Friday. And uh, and I don't normally work this late on a, on a Thursday either, but uh, it was the only time in the next couple of months we could get to you guys and um, on, on your calls, and I really wanted to make it happen for you. So uh, hence, uh, here we are. Great. Well, I uh, definitely appreciate you uh, take, taking the time. Um, so does, are there any final questions um, for, for Mike before any of you coaches, that sort of thing? You've, uh, 
Uh, but I don't have a question, but I'd just like to thank Mike. I thought that was very interesting. And um, yeah, I look forward to finding out a whole lot more and um, looking at the Facebook page and all the other stuff in more detail. So thank you. And thanks, Melanie, for organizing that. Thanks, Gary. I'll look out for you on the, on the webinar and say hello. And, um, you know, we, we do have an Octopus certified coach um, badge as well. So if any of the coaches that are in TNG uh, um, want to get certified, and our certification is not focused as much on coaching as it is on creating a sustainable and profitable coaching business, which unfortunately, we're the only ones in the world who seem to be interested in that from a certification point of view. So, um, Gary, I'll look forward to seeing you there. Dan, thanks so much for hosting. And Melanie, thanks so much for everything that you do for all these people, for you and Mark, you're a blessing. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right. Uh, what, what we'll, um, so that, that, that uh, brings to close the, the formal part of the, uh, of the well, you know, we're all a bunch of friends here, so uh, we, where's the formal on that? But um, what, what we'll do is we'll quickly just uh, introduce um, yourself and your business and probably just a uh, bit short on time, but just, you know, 30, 60 seconds, uh, just uh, who you are, what you do, um, just to help us get to know you better. Um, and then uh, when we reconnect on another Zoom call or on the Octopus Tribes platform. Um, so I'll just start from the left and work well way through. So Malcolm, go ahead. Good morning, everybody. Thank you, Dan, for the opportunity. Yes, I'm a business coach, a mentor, work with business success partners. Um, we have a number of people throughout New Zealand. Look, our, um, our, our relationship with business owners and business leaders is to assist them to discover or rediscover their why, um, to, to help them look through the, the business and where it's at, and obviously to then set the, um, the course for for where their business as a vehicle sits in their life overall. So a lot of the things that uh, Mike, you've talked about resonate well. Um, and, and I do say in the end, um, I love your comment, if you like, around the certification process, because like all entities, like all advisors, um, you know, we work far too hard for far too little and, and, and we need to improve the outcomes on there. So that's what I do. And thanks very much for the feedback from everybody. Cool. Thanks, Malcolm. Uh, Gary, go ahead. Hi, so um, I've got a company called Rich & Co, and uh, I do uh, graphic design for both web and print. So I've been involved for, in do graphic design for 30-something years. I'm showing my age now. But, um, yes, yeah, so I'm quite well adapted in print, and brand identity was uh, a big thing. And then sort of about 2006, I started getting involved with web. So, um, so I take that um, initial brand identity, which is where a lot of our inquiries come from, and I'll take that through to whatever the client needs. So it could be brochures, it could be website, it could be catalogs, it could be, um, uh, you know, large format media, billboards and pull-up banners. And so you name it, um, I do whatever a company needs for them to look good. So. Yeah, I guess cutting it short, I'll make companies look good. Making all that substantial stuff, eh? That, that yeah. Tactile, uh, <laughs> cool. Um, Greg, go ahead. Yeah, hi, everyone. Um, well, I am coming under the banner of uh, the Experience on Tap team. Uh, we're business consultants and advisors. I specialize in small, medium businesses and franchise businesses. And uh, more to the point, one of the things that uh, I like to specialize in is pitching. And I learned from the best. Mike uh, has uh, shown me how to pitch. So that's a, that's a product that I sell called Perfect Pitch. Awesome. Thanks, Greg. Gah. Well, thanks for the opportunity, Dan. Along with Melanie and Mark, I'm one of the owners of the networking group, and I spend my time out and about visiting the groups and working one-on-one -on -one with our members to help them get even better results from business networking. Uh, the other thing I do is I put people out of business. So I'm a business broker, and when people want to exit their business, I'm the person to direct them to, and I'll help them. I put people out of business. I also put people into business. 
But uh, great presentation, Mike. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us in this uh, educational uh, webinar this morning. Cheers. Thanks, Garth. Uh, Leonard. Thank you very much, Dan. Um, Mike, that was very insightful. I'm, I'm hoping to use your facilities um, reasonably soon. My name is Leonard. I, um, I own and operate Gilco Property Management. So as the name incurs, there's uh, property management. I'm on the North Shore of Auckland and it's a boutique residential property management company. So uh, really interested in giving good service to property investors where they just don't want to be a number in a big company. So um, I also do, I do full property management. I do um, casual inspections, healthy homes inspections, rental appraisals, of course, and also letting services. So um, that's me. Thank you very much. Thanks, Leonard. Uh, Ken? Yeah, hi, everyone. Uh, Ken Jackson from the Mortgage Lab. I was sort of seeing in the interest rates are starting to creep up on the longer term rates. So it's worth uh, having a look at if you, if you are considering a uh, long-term strategy. Now's a good time to look at that. Yeah, Ken Jackson, Mortgage Lab. Thanks, Ken. Uh, Colin? Hi, everybody. Thanks, Dan, for the introduction. Mike, as usual, always good to listen to you and uh, see where you and Landy are going in your business. Uh, I'm a recycled chartered accountant. I retired after 40 years in the profession, 29 years as a KPMG senior partner. 20 of those years were in South Africa and nine of them were in Russia. I'm now uh, a business growth consultant and exit strategist. And uh, the main thing that I do is I help business owners maximize the value of their business so that they can retire, enjoy the lifestyle that they are wanting to enjoy and making sure they don't leave money on the table when the big payday comes around. So that's Colin Gardner, CCG Consulting. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Colin. Uh, Jago Powell? Yeah, hi. Thanks, Dan. Uh, thanks, Mike and Malini. Thanks. I have recently joined the TNG Group in Kimu in Auckland. Uh, currently, I am into Barford and Thompson as a sales associate with one of my colleagues. I, my background is uh, printing industry. Uh, we had a family business back in India in Mumbai. Uh, coming back in 2001 in New Zealand, I started doing printing industry. I got a trade certified trade printer. I'm a current uh, personal trainer too. Fight do trainer too. I love doing gym, exercising, and all those things, keeping fit myself to keep my brain working all the time. Yeah, and currently I am uh, with Buffett and Thompson uh, doing my sales. Any, anybody interested in Auckland buying and selling? Let me know. Thank you. This is Jay Gopal Oberoi. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, so there's, there's me, I'm Dan. Uh, so I run Ingot, which is a digital design studio. So we primarily work in the web space. So uh, people are often familiar with business coaching. As your business changes, your goals, your needs shift, uh, the tools, functionality also shift. Um, and your online space is exactly the same. Uh, but people often don't uh, see the connection and grow their online space um, simultaneously as they grow their business. So that's where we often, that's where we work, uh, partnering alongside businesses, helping them put in the functionality and um, wrapping it up in obviously creative communication that effectively sells what they're trying to sell. Uh, so those are the clients that we love to work with, the ones that are going through change, need new tools and need their website to really work better for them. Um, and then obviously the digital branding and design that goes along with it. So uh, that's me, Dan from Ingot. So, uh, Melody, I, did you want to touch on? Uh, I'd just like to say that um, at the networking group, our objective is to help all of our members to connect. And that we're absolutely delighted to have partnered with Mike and Landy. And we believe that the Octopus platform provides an amazing platform for our members. And we encourage everybody to get involved and to use it. 
So today I'd just like to say thank you, Mike, for giving your time. I really, really appreciate that Pleasure. it's very late. And, but it's delightful to see you and um, we will make sure that um, we continue to spread the word. Cool. Thanks Great. so much and thanks everyone. Cool. Well, that um, that wraps up the meeting. Uh, again, thanks, Mike. Uh, we'll uh, we'll definitely there should be an influx of uh, of uh, the octopus octopus uh, tribe <laughs> users. Um, and uh, again, this message, this uh, whole session has been recorded as well. So if you want to get a copy of it, um, it'll also be on the TNG podcast as well. And then uh, we'll be back next fortnight with another awesome speaker. So uh, thanks everyone for joining today. And um, have a fantastic uh, day. And Mike, uh, sleep well. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Cheers, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.